Welcome, my beautiful, beautiful Libras. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here today to bring you your Tarot and Oracle card forecast for the month of January 2021. Happy, happy new year as we flow into a brand new year of 2021, prosperity, healing, and changes that are going to benefit us to our greater good. This, of course, is a general reading, and that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you. But take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. But if you'd like a private session with me, completely designed for your personal questions, all that information is listed below this video, how to contact me in the information box. This reading is divided up into four cards, which is each week of the month of January, including clarification cards and the four energy cards that will bring this reading into conclusion. So we're starting off with our first energy card and you have been given surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can achieve, you know, a goal, turn the situation over to the divine and let spirit work its magic for you. So this is all about let go and let God, okay? Whoever your God is, whoever your faith is, whoever you lean into in your divine part of your life, know that, uh, you know, you need to turn it over there. You've done everything that you can, I think, last year in 2020. And as we ended and concluded that year, what's done is done. Uh, you have to think about the brand new prosperity and the brand new prospects coming in and offers offers and opportunities for you to look forward to as you come into the beginning week of January. So surrender what you couldn't you couldn't complete or you couldn't finish uh, in the past. Let it go and realize now that you've done everything that you can and it'll be up to the divine and divine timing as to how things unfold now as you move forward through this new year. This is beautiful. Definitely things are working out in your favor. You end up with the sun and the sun means you're going to see light at the end of the tunnel. You're going to be able to see where you're going and you're going to see positivity coming in. There could be partnerships, contracts being signed. You could be bringing someone else into, into the equation here, the situation and whatever goal and endeavor you're pursuing at this time. But know that the sun brings good positive energy towards you as you start off the beginning of this month. You've had to walk away from things in the past. That were, you know, it's done and done and now you need to look forward to this beautiful, beautiful positive beginning in January. And I want you to expect happy times coming your way. You may be also hearing about some new brilliant ideas that are going to help you excel, expand, and move forward in a positive direction on your path as you approach, you know, this new year. I want you to continue stability, balance, and in the department of your confidence level, okay? There's going to be some opportunities being offered to you. Okay, so know that you're going to be able to see change coming into you. That's going to work out in your favor. You know, I love this card because it also refers to good, vibrant, and physical and emotional health. So if any of you have been dealing with those issues, know that you're going to see healing and improvement and the recovery of that. You've got the Four of Pentacles the first week as well. And this is the extremes in which you spend your money or you save your money or you use your energy or the lack therein. I think that you need to keep your eyes open here to any new offers and possibilities coming down your path. Don't be uh, resistant. Keep your eyes open to realize that there could be new things coming towards you that at the time they present themselves, you might turn your nose up at it and say, I don't think so. But don't do that. Keep your eyes open because it could be somebody coming through here that's offering you something that you think you don't want to get into. But, you know, divine here is going to step in and be an intervention here that's going to guide you through this. So trust this, okay? Also, I want you to be conscientious about how you use your energy. Are you diving into January, being a people pleaser, wanting to give 150% of yourself to everybody again? And often we do that for approval. Don't do that. 
because what will happen is you'll come to resent it and you'll come to deplete your energy. You have self-worth here, my beautiful Libras. Know that you can't please all people at all times or be at all places at all times. Allocate boundaries here, okay? Step up and say no, okay? Without explanation. This is your life, your energy level. So be conscientious of that. Also, if some of you have isolated yourself to extremes, know that you can still live your life and be happy. Get out there, okay? All, you know, all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy, as they say. So don't be afraid because I think for some of you, you've done that and for others, you, you've you done the opposite. So be mindful of this, okay? Some of you might be holding on to something from the past that isn't helping you move forward, okay? You've got your eyes closed to the new future coming towards you here. Look at her because she's holding on too tightly, okay? Let the past go. It's history. You can't change it. Move on. You've done everything that you can. Okay, now turn it over to the divine and let them handle it from here on. Beautiful. Coming in with your second week from uh, the beautiful, um, you know, time to angels deck here. You've got the wisdom, which, you know, is this part of the deck. And it says it's time to pause, reflect on just how far you have come. Climb to wonderful new heights. So, you know, even though things might not have completely, uh, you know, um, unraveled and, 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 and presented themselves 100% the way you wanted them to do, know that, you know, it's time for you to look back on how much you did accomplish, okay? How far you've come, the distance that you've had to go, and reflect on that, okay? You know, you're climbing now at the rate you should climb at. Okay, you're going forward towards your goals. Know that it's unfolding at, a, at, you know, it's progressing at the speed that the divine in the universe says that you're able to handle at this time. You're going to be giving birth to something here because the Ace of Pentacles, or pardon me, the Queen of Pentacles presents itself here, which means you're going to be able to move forward with progress and but it's taking time i mean just like conceiving a seed the child that you carry it takes nine months right we don't just conceive and then bang the next day we pop out our new baby this is about you being patient nurturing yourself planning your moves and realizing that with that you can create a, the the rebirth of something beautiful and new is it a new job is it your profession is it a relationship is it actually bringing a child into the family home uh, but know that you have to realize how far you've come Okay, stay in that, in that mindset of you accomplishing and getting the happiness that you want here because you're going to get it. Okay, you're going to get it. Some of you are stepping out there and creating a brand new life for yourself, whether it's in your relationship part of it, in your home life, or whether it has to do with your profession. You may be getting into partnerships here, getting into a business here. Now we're moving on to your next card here for the second week of January and you've got the eight of swords again I said keep your mindset positive here okay this is about allowing the negative energy to take over your emotions and the way you think about this situation <clears throat> excuse me so this says you're not seeing a picture in 100% clarity and you need to do that. Do your, do your, uh, you know, your research. Uh, make sure your eyes are open here, okay, uh, to see the whole picture here. I mean, it's quite interesting here where with the four of, you know, the four of pentacles, her eyes are closed and, and the eight of swords, the, her eyes are closed as well. So you, this is a warning and, a, and, a, and, a, and, you know, advice that you need to keep your options open and your eyes open to all possibilities coming in all right so you're not stuck the eight of pentacles usually depicts in the traditional tarot a woman sitting on a chair her hands are bound blindfold and she's got all these swords on each side of her she thinks she's blocked she thinks she's stopped she thinks she can't move forward she thinks she can't solve this problem but she's wrong because there's no swords in front of her and what this means is she's got up in her head this is her here thinking of the worst so get out of this mindset my beautiful beautiful Libras know that this situation is going to come to fruition here this is beautiful energy coming into you so don't worry if it's not happening as quick as you want it to happen know that it's divine timing that's bringing this in 
and remember how far you've come and the and all the work and energy and investment you've applied to this situation you've got in your third week the tree now the tree is great it's all about beautiful energy coming into you it's about healing okay it's about recovery it's about overcoming things it could have to do with your health okay of your mind your body and your soul right this is longevity okay stability secure future um, and you know it's like the rainbow the rainbow is always about good true health okay and it's about aligning ourselves between what is above and what is below so keep that in mind this is the card of happiness fruition I mean the tree is full of beautiful you know beautiful beautiful uh, you know foliage there the the beautiful um, uh, cardinals that are in it and cardinals usually refer to ancestry or ancestors that have passed on uh, and this is about you tapping into perhaps an inherited health condition that you have know that it's going to be controlled and you're going to get over it okay this is a card of beautiful spiritual emotional mental and physical good well-being I love it so things are improving for a lot of you I mean I don't know some of you may have come down with COVID you may have developed an illness uh, you know this has been a time where people have, have had to realize that they're going through emotional and mental and spiritual insecurities which brings on those health issues but this new January you're going into this new year of 2021 you're going to get past this you're going to get into longevity stability and good health you're moving on from troubled waters to calmer shores so the worst is over this means that you're going in a new direction yes there's going to be some challenges life I mean life isn't perfect we do have challenges on our path that help us expand and grow and learn the lessons from so for some of you you've decided that it's time for you to leave a situation that wasn't working out for you and you're going towards a brand new beginning and it's going to be you being able to give birth to your new goals your new path okay you're going to see happiness the Sun's going to shine again here for you this is a beautiful card that says the worst is over you're leaving troubled waters going to much calmer beautiful positive shores you're getting an offer and maybe this is why you're moving on the ace of Pentacles this is all about you stepping up and being and being able to see you know abundance coming towards you okay uh, this could be assistance coming in from others that's bringing you information that's going to lead you in that direction but it's definitely the inflow of abundance okay it lands on the Pentacles ace of Pentacles is usually fruition abundance in the material part of your life the financial part of your life this could be a brand new positive business venture you're getting involved in and pursuing because I said you're going to be giving birth to something new and it could be your goals here it could be a new job a new business uh, you will be you know probably in the process of doing this you're going to be signing contracts and documents okay so some of you this is what you're stepping up into for this beautiful month of January it's definitely the card of abundance and maybe you're having to go the distance to go towards this maybe you've been offered this in your career and it's not where you live now you might have to uproot and move but you realize that this that that this change is going to bring about success and abundance in the material part of your lives okay so it is career advancement it is business contracts and it is again even improved health so I love that it ties in with the Lennerman tree representation here now your final week you've been given the bag something important such as a new job or a raise didn't we just say that it comes in follows behind the ace of Pentacles so coming in to the end of the month of January Wow things are going to improve beautiful beautiful energy that says your finances are going to be better than you had experienced in the past two of Pentacles yes choices decisions and options coming in but you must maintain stability and balance 
okay my beautiful Libras don't get excited don't take on more than you can chew because you're enthusiastic you're passionate and you can't wait to go in this on this new part of your journey because you know it's going to bring you in more abundance be careful make out your priority list check it off take your time don't jump into the quicksand and then try to figure out how you're going to swim your way out of it this is beautiful you may be getting again we talked about the ace of pentacles opportunities offers coming in in the financial part of your life you could even get a second one okay where you're thinking about this maybe you're thinking about bringing in a partner okay duality here regardless of that you're going to be in charge of it yourself you've got the emperor and the emperor is a leader and you're be, you maybe have been asked to be the head of a corporation to be the head of an organization to be head of a, a club to be head of the office uh, something there okay you're taking the bull by the horns and being your own boss here maybe you're opening your own business and you're going to be in charge of your own company your own business whatever it is it's going to work out okay because you're holding the winning card in your hand look he's sitting there you know he's a checkmate right he knows he's going to win he's not rushing he's he's got the ace in his hand okay knows that things are going to work out in his favor he is a tremendous strong leader he does things by the book he does things right he does his research and that's why he is a good leader you are going to be stepping up my beautiful Libras, to do the same you know my my guides are telling me you may be asked to purchase the business that you work at you may be asked to be the owner of it you may be getting given a gift here okay you may be asked to say you know this is your business if you want it wow I'm liking this this is beautiful well my beautiful Libras this is your reading for the month of January 2021 and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic month here of January to look forward to stand in your power don't be afraid to go towards these goals because you're going to see prosperity coming in here. For some, it's going to be prosperity in health and others, it's going to be prosperity in finances or maybe both for some of you. Well, I wish you a great, as I said, a great remainder to today. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my prayers and good wishes are that you stay in good spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical good health. Please. Play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.